In order to see how demand for labour is determined, we need to talk about the effect of additional labour on the level of production of a firm. So in this video, we're going to define what we call marginal product of labour. Then we'll show how we can show both total production and marginal product of labour graphically. And we'll talk about the concept of diminishing marginal product. So marginal product of labour, quite simply, is just how much extra output you get by adding more labour. So we can show this pretty easily with an example. Let's say we've got a factory where shirts are being produced and they sell for $20 each. So when there's zero workers, obviously zero shirts get produced and we don't worry about marginal product of labour at that point. But then what happens if we add one more worker? Well, when we go from zero workers to one worker, we go from having zero shirts produced to 50 shirts produced. So that's an increase of 50 shirts. So we get a marginal product of labor of 50. And the value of this at $20 per shirt is $1,000. From this point, if we then add one more worker going from one to two, then we go from 50 shirts produced to 90, so that's an increase of 40 shirts. So then we get a marginal product of labor of 40 with a value of 800. And you can just keep following along. You go from 90 to 120, that's a marginal product of labor of 30. And then we get one of 20, going from 120 to 140. 